This is my 400th video, and I apologize for not getting this up sooner. I know there was a lot of people looking forward to this, and the reason why I didn't do it was because on Wednesday night when I came home, uh, I fell asleep in this very chair at 8.30 at night and didn't get back up until 4 o'clock in the morning. So, well, there you go. That's why I didn't get taped. Uh, now, I did do a Euclid's proof yesterday and uh, finally got it up on the internet. And now we're doing my 400th video. It is the uh, day after Thanksgiving and I wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great time. I also want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And let me tell you something. I do wish people a Merry Christmas. And if you have a problem with that, you can take it up with me and I'll tell you how it is. So, don't be standing there going, well, you shouldn't say Merry Christmas. I say Merry Christmas. You have a problem with that? Well, tough. All right. Uh, but uh, the first thing I wonder about today is Black Friday. I have to wonder, is it really worth damaging your car or possibly injuring your life or losing your life over merchandise? Is that what Jesus would do? How embarrassing would it be to go to somebody's house and say, well, hey, I got a black eye and, and a broken leg trying to get your Christmas present? Yeah. That really sends a good message. Hey, gee, uh, I really value you, but I, I went on the cheap and ended up being injured and having my car wrecked just to get you a cheap Christmas present. Yeah, that really goes over well. So, I have to say to you, wait a minute, rethink your priorities. Is merchandise that important to you? You're disturbing your family at 4 o'clock in the morning. You're wrecking your car. You're risking your life over a Christmas present? No, I wouldn't do that. Now, if you're doing this over the Internet, that's one thing. Hey, you know, uh, the Internet can't kill you. But I'll tell you what, you're starting to do this at the stores. You know, I wonder. So anyway, um, getting past that, I wanted to say to you that uh, I'm going to continue making videos, accounting, calculus, data processing. I will cover registry keys at some point. I know I haven't done it yet, but I will. One of the nice things about me is that I'm here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It doesn't matter whether it's Thanksgiving, whether it's Christmas, whatever. If you're needing homework help or you need instant job training, you can come here and get it. Uh, that's one of the bad things about Sylvan and Huntington Learning Center, which, by the way, I have no problem with either one of them. I think they're great. The problem is that they have a certain set of hours. Well, you have a problem at 4 o'clock in the morning on Thanksgiving, you got a problem. They're not there, but I am. Okay? So that kind of makes me a little different than what they are. No, granted, I don't have a, a video on every single subject of your, of your uh, educational career at this point. I'm working on it, and I will continue to work on it until either I drop dead or the Internet blows up or something else like that happens. But the thing is that I'm here when they're not. And that makes a big difference, especially if you're studying at 4 o'clock in the morning, which I can't imagine you wanting to do that. But if you do, there you go. And sometimes, even places like Sylvia and the Hunting Huntington Learning Centers, they get booked. Well, you still need help, and I'm still here. All right. Now, I wanted to briefly talk to Blair XXX and to Megan's Heart Makeup. Uh, I want to tell you guys that uh, there's a lot of girls out there that really like your cosmetics. I have been watching your presentations, and although I don't use cosmetics by itself, like what you present on your channel, obviously I'm a guy, so I wouldn't be doing that. I did wanted to say that uh, you guys have very good presentations. You guys got keen fashion sense. Your hairdos look great, and I think you're doing an excellent job. However, there are a lot of girls that want to do your stuff like they simply can't afford it. Let me just tell you right now that college costs $20,000 a year per student. Some people just don't have that kind of money. And for those that are going to college right now, uh, they're struggling with their homework. So adding the additional burden of paying somebody like Sylvan or Huntington Learning Center, uh, that may be more of a burden than they can actually take on. Well, here I am. So what I would like to do is to say to you that um, uh, 
if somebody were to ask me for cosmetology help, I would definitely send them to your channels. Uh, otherwise, um, if they're having homework help, I hope that you will send them over to my channel so that I can help them out. If these girls get this kind of training, they can go out, get themselves good jobs, get the money they need to pay for the cosmetics that I know you guys would like for them to have so that they can look their very best. Because I know that's your mission in, on the internet. You are trying to get them to look their very best and I can appreciate that. And I will do my best to help you out with that. Yeah, like I said, if a gal came to me and wanted cosmetology help, I would send them to you. Hopefully you'll do the same if they're asking about calculus or if they're asking about Euclidean geometry or something like that. You would send them over to me and I can help them out in that respect. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you and um, you'll definitely hear from me uh, from time to time. So there you go. And I look forward to hearing from anybody actually. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, the uh, video responses. Uh, there will be more um, material covered uh, from theological to historical to mathematical to accounting. It's just going to keep right on going until either I keel over dead or, like I said, the Internet blows up. It's just going to keep right on coming. All right. Uh, I wanted to say a brief word to Megan's life. Um, I know that you went through a lot of struggles in school, and I did as well. Uh, we didn't suffer the same type of embarrassment, but I did suffer embarrassment much like you, and so I can relate to you. I was a scrawny 135-pound pup when I was in school. I know that's kind of hard to believe now, but it's true. And so I wanted to say to you, I can relate to the struggles you've been through, and I can only hope that they didn't leave you with permanent scars. It doesn't look like it did. and. Um, my experience has left me with a couple of scars, but I've moved on, and it looks like that's exactly what you've done. And I say good for you, and I hope you keep right on going. I know I will, and I look forward to hearing from you. So, uh, basically, that's all I've got to say for today. Um, after December 11th, I will be going to Taylorville. I will tape their Festival of Lights over there, and it will be on YouTube. So that's something for everybody to look forward to, and I look forward to hearing from everybody in the near future. So stay tuned.